Skepta is collaborating with Puma. I think he's actually got a long partnership with them. I remember, if I remember correctly, he had some Puma bits and pieces in his collection they did the, on the runway. I forgot what the name of the collection is. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't that great, really, to be fair. I think I reviewed it. But these shoes are fucking good. I'm not going to lie. They're actually pretty good looking. So this is to take a look at um, Skepta's new Puma sneaker collaboration. Um, the shape themselves, they kind of remind me of a Nike Air Max. Is it a 98? I think it's a Nike Air Max 98 TL or something. I think that's what the shoe shape reminds... Yeah, that's, that's it. There we go. That shoe shape kind of reminds me of this. Not too sure if this is the inspiration behind them. Um, I don't know jack shit. I'm just a fucking idiot on the internet talking out my ass. But they kind of remind me of this particular shape of a shoe. Supreme did a collaboration with them on that particular model a while back ago. But they kind of remind me of this. So they have this almost like... Um, I don't know what you call it. Topical type of design. These nice shapes in the front with the Puma. They just don't have the different swells, but they kind of remind me a little bit of that. But then the sole um, is a little bit more substantial. It's a little bit more of a rugged, outdoorsy type of sole. If anything, the sole itself kind of looks more akin to something you'll see on the boot, which actually is interesting because I think I would actually prefer to see this. I actually would like to see this silhouette in a boot or like in the mid. As good as it works in this low type of sneaker, I also think it works really well in the boot type of sneaker. But I also like the fact that it's got this iridescent two-tone upper about it as well, which is really cool. So you've got these nice kind of, you know, hues of colors that pop um, as well when you move it around. I think also not when you provide flash onto the upper. But I think the upper as well kind of reminds you of that. What's that Puma with a strap? I forgot what the name of it is. It Oh, that's it. Mostros. That's the one. That's the one. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Mostro. So it seems like this shoe might be a hybrid from what i am ascertaining again via my fucking sneaker obsessed eyes it might be a hybrid of this classic puma monstros which i hate personally they've relaunched it again and it's become like a shoe that all the y2k obsessed gen z kids are wearing but i've always hated them they're essentially these pumas that have like a strap and they're laceless and shit like you know they kind of look like um shoes that eastern european men would wear personally for me i'm not really into them but people do like them nowadays especially with the whole y2k trend happening um but they seem like a mix between those puma most mostros and this particular nike air max tl it's kind of the you know and then it births this particular puma so at the what well, i'm not sure what the name of it is actually but i'd actually have to see this again the shape of this put into a boot i think this shape would look really good in a boot i'm not gonna lie a mid or a boot level would look fucking awesome in this particular shape. So let's read the blurb. The blurb says, Boy Better Know Rapper Skepta is one of the UK's most decorated multi-hyphenates. The musician is often seen launching new projects, whether it be launching um, of his imprint mains, rejuvenating his career as a DJ, or directing movies. That's true, isn't it? He's actually had a pretty sick 18 months, isn't it? Mains back on the runway. Um, he did a whole tour DJing with Jammer and shit um, with his um, Mass Tiempo imprint. And then, of course, directing movies. I think there's one coming up soon, right? With um, Idris Elba and shit. So he's done pretty... Um, and, of course, Coachella recently. Fucking hell. Skepta's killing it. Having already made this mark of uh, the sneak industry with the SK Airline, with Nike before signing with Puma. Shit, yeah, true. I wonder... Th that's also why I'm wondering. Why is Nike dropping the ball with all these people that should be signing permanently? Like, I still think Sean Wotherspoon should be at Nike. Skepta should still be there. Those Skepta Nike... Air, those Skepta shocks back in the day... They, they they still they still self resell for quite a bit because I remember trying to buy a pair on StockX and they were going for still quite a bit of money. Those Nike Air Max shocks that Skepta did before they they're still pretty sick. I think that was a really nice fucking reintroduction to this fucking um, shock TL. They were really nice, all black upper with the red shocks at the bottom, almost looking like air bubbles. Look fucking cool. And of course the um, what do you call it? The Air Max ninety sevens that he did. Are they ninety sevens? That kind of, yeah, this particular colorway, one of my favorite Nike Air Max collaborations of all time. So I'm surprised why Nike didn't sign him on permanently and give him more shoes. Maybe he didn't want to sign or he wanted more autonomy. Because again, I'd imagine working with Puma, similar to what Rihanna's got and ASAP Rocky's got there. I'm assuming Puma probably give you way more money or they give you, um, what's that thing called? They give you um, stock options and shit. Which if you're an artist, maybe after a while, getting a flat rate fee isn't enough. You want to secure the future of your family and you know kids kids and shit so having stock options probably isn't nice and having be able to get paid residuals but i'm surprised nike didn't decide hey we want to keep you because this shoe was fucking flames bro this air max 97 
the fucking shocks before the tracksuits that accompanied it like this is like peak prime footlocker era of tracksuits and shit he could have killed it making his own collection sk air great tracksuits great matching sneakers great hats and shit with it as well but they dropped the ball as nike always does so now he's with puma let's go um it sounded puma 2022 fans were left on the fence or whoever skeptical like this move made sense however with the amount of credit control seen on big smoke's new finster skepta has made his new sneaker puma entirely on his own is it i didn't know he had a finster what's his finster let's see what they're talking about here hype beast out here fucking stalking man's finster and shit okay cool so he's got his finsters called sk underscore scope s-k-o-p-e ah okay nice so we get an idea so this is like his finster where he shows behind the scenes shit this is really cool oh yeah i remember so so that jacket that i remember seeing i think it's in the video i've got some music video that he recently he's wearing this jacket and this is also a part of the puma collaboration it's got this amazing emblem on the outside it looks really fucking nice man that jacket is hard body i'd wear the fuck out of that jacket that is really fucking nice and then we're gonna see let's see if we see the um, design process of the puma shoes themselves you see skepta here doing a bit of styling on the shoes with some main track pants here they look really cool they look really good on actually they look way good they look much better on than they look in these product images which is a good thing i think if they look better on you're gonna see more people wearing them obviously influences the people who get them first and then people will be like oh shit i want them now and it's going to probably increase the sales you'd imagine they look fucking cool there i'm not gonna lie i actually like them they actually look really cool and you also got a picture here of central c wearing them too he makes them look good as well yeah they look really nice i'm not i'm not even gonna lie that's also a mains jeans jacket fucking suit i'm not mad at them at all and he's also got a pair made for the babies out there as well they're babies them big up the baby dems cool we got that so let's go back to the article it says da, 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 on his finster skeptics new designs entirely a new model with the first thing that jumps out coming in the form of the wavy overlays and the runs across the upper reflective detailing also applied with the fresh features including a looping around the full profile leaving the unique holes of the reveal back again i'm not sure if this is iridescent i think it's iridescent this glow i'm not sure if it's iridescent or something else but whatever it is it looks fucking cool um channeling some serious it almost reminds you of that i forgot what that ice cream was back in the day the ice cream with all the fucking colors you know warped into it again i forgot the name of it but we used to eat it a lot back in the day in the ends i forgot the name of it actually um it says here channeling some serious american cups energy skept to delve into deep into the puma archives for the inspiration behind his latest shoe i've seen the metallic undertones that can be seen when the light is flashed on the silhouette as well as the alternative yellow and orange laces they arrive at the sneaker all chrome box okay cool all chrome show there's gonna be an all chrome shoe box and yellow and what else laces that's actually going to make it pop really nice. Yellow and orange laces. I'm not mad at that. Rounding off the design as a customary co-branding can be spotted on the heel counter. Take a closer look at the Skepta and Puma sneaker collaboration, which is due to drop on Puma website on May 18th. Yeah, I'm not mad at these at all. I'm not mad at them at all. They look fucking hard body. Again, like I said, a probably a perfect mix between the MX-98 TL or TLs in general and also this classic puma mostro which has become the de facto y2k style shoe of choice so big up skepta for smashing it on that one hard to do again when you're designing a shoe from the ground up and you're not just doing a retro it's hard to make them work because you've got so many resources you can basically do what the fuck you want so to kind of do something like this which is you know kind of minimalist kind of reserved not too out there it can be out there based on the colorway you can obviously flip the colorways and make this look fucking crazy and loud but i like the fact that it's done the way it's done and also actually like the lo the use of the logo that's one thing you have to give um kanye credit for with the yeezy line i think kanye was the first well especially now in the modern or the current culture to design shoes and not have the brand be the centerpiece of the design i don't think on any yeezy Maybe apart from the 700s, they might have some free stripes on it. You don't really get any signage that shows it's an Adidas. It just, you know, it's just a really nice design shoe. But that was the first time you ever saw a shoe designer deciding, especially in sportswear, not to have the brand, you know, stuck on the side somewhere, really bad, lo really big logo or very minimal, no, not a lot of no logo design. On it. And I think on this, they've done a really good job by in incorporating the logo into the stitching of the upper. So you got this Puma... Um, signage logo here stitched in but you can only really see it when you obviously flash on the upper when you've got it like that you can't really see it too tough so it's kind of like plain looking so i think it looks really cool that's a good way to kind of incorporate the logo without making it the centerpiece and letting the design of the shoe and the shape of it speak for itself but again 
What do I know? I'm just talking out of my ass. I'm just talking out of my ass.